how y'all doing? So the video gonna be about Eddie Murphy supposedly portraying George Clinton, and they're gonna be interesting, um, both from the Jersey area. Um, Eddie's an old school funker to your head. <clears throat> now, and when I heard about it, and I thought, okay, if he pulled off trying to play Rudy Ray Moore playing Dolomite, I can kind of sort of see this in that in that context. Um, and George Clinton, leader of Parliament Funkadelic, songwriter, started off at Motown Records. It's a completely different um, evolution to what he ended up becoming when he was leader of P-Funk. And that great band, one of the greatest bands ever. Because P-Funk talent is bananas. And also, let's just be realistic. They've been sampled so much. I'm telling you, if P-Funk, all those guys should have been paid. If they got paid for every time they got sampled or something, they'd all be in Bill Gates' neighborhood. That's no exaggerate. That's how much sampling and careers have been built off of that. So just thinking before that and and Clinton putting all signed with all these labels and in industry, just it's it's interesting. But I'm always gonna say the elephant in the room to me when I think about Eddie Murphy portraying anybody was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Because after coming to America, I still say that's the one that that's the ship to sail that, and that was the one. That was the one. And, um, you know, <clears throat> these sort of things are, uh, you know, biographies, portraying somebody, it's always a touchy, interesting, sketchy, how you going to do it, people who remember the good, the bad, the in-between. So it, it could be interesting how that play out, you know. Um, George Clinton is an interesting character in music. One of the most important faces of funk music and R&B music, and underrated in the pop world. Because it's beyond just the funk. He had a big hand on a lot of things. So, but it'll be young. Uh, and he was at the Red Hot Chili Peppers Hollywood Walk of Fame thing yesterday, too. So, be interesting. But, you know, it'll, it'll give me your thoughts. You'd like Eddie Murphy portraying George Clinton, or would you like somebody else? Do you think Eddie Murphy should have played somebody else? I still think Dr. King was the one that got away. But anyway, give me your thoughts. It takes please to like, subscribe. I welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another, and um, we'll see. I'm out.